I really wanted to delve deeper and uh, get the feel for what it what life is like as a researcher and really dive into hard science. Uh, my name is Brooke Russell. I'm a junior at Princeton University. I'm a physics major and also a pre-med student. I love the thinking behind it and the approach to solving problems and questions. I con contacted Dr. Patterson, sent him my CV. Uh, he suggested that I apply to this NIH grant for funding uh, this summer. And that's how this all kind of snowballed into what it is. My name is Cam Patterson. I'm a cardiologist. I'm the director of cardiology at UNC. I run a biomedical research laboratory of about 20 people. We study problems like how blood vessels grow and what makes the heart get enlarged. It's nice working on an issue that's so important and that touches so many people's lives. Our idea was that bumper might be involved in protecting against inflammation of blood vessels. So the idea that, that Brooke developed was to create models in which the levels of bumper were modified and to see whether modifying bumper levels would have a, an effect on the development of atherosclerosis. I really see my lab as sort of an incubator where we bring people into the lab, we teach them the principles of science, we help them to identify important questions, and then I really like to see people run on their own, to ask the questions that they want to ask, to develop their own research directions, and then at the end of it, we like to see them shoot out and be really successful. I don't, I'm not really sure what motivates me. I, I guess it's a general interest for figuring out what's going on. We know there is an answer, finding it, and applying it. What I want for somebody like Brooke to get out of a summer research experience is really just learning how to talk the talk, to understand what we're talking about, to understand the pace of research, to get some hands-on experience with uh, some fundamental uh, procedures in the lab, and to have a lot of fun. Biomedical research is really a team sport, and I think that Brooke really got that aspect of, of what we do in the lab, and that's why she, I, I think, was uh, able to take off and to move her project forward so quickly. She did in three months' time work what I've seen people with much firmer background in science take a year to accomplish. It's not just reading about uh, this information in the textbook, but applying it really gives me um, a better feel of what's going on and the greater significance. I think if we're really going to attack that problem of healthcare disparities, we need people who understand it from frontline experience. And so people like Brooke are going to help us to understand why problems like healthcare disparities exist, why there are gaps in uh, our treatment of minority populations, and what we can do to close those gaps. One day I want to be able to say that, you know, that person you know, who's um, you know, a nationally recognized figure as a surgeon or as an investigator, or whatever it is she, she becomes, somebody who started out as the book that I know right now working in my lab. I hope to go to medical school after um, my undergraduate education and I hope to become a surgeon someday. That's my, uh, my dream.